Have you ever struggled to learn technical things such as SQL, math, Python, and machine learning? Well, that happens to everyone. But in this video, I'm going to show you five things I do to study less and learn more, retain more information, reach my peak performance when studying, and make consistent progress. When you start learning technical things, you need to build your own curriculum. Unless you're an absolute beginner, you already know some topics and you should skip them and focus on your weak points. Say you're learning data science. Data science covers things such as math, statistics, and Python. So instead of learning everything from scratch, you should check the curriculum of online courses such as Udemy, Coursera, and Udacity to build your own curriculum. In your curriculum, you shouldn't include things you're already good at and focus on your weak points. Another thing you need to do is to schedule tasks. When it comes to learning technical things, you have to be very careful with time. You might waste hours solving issues that have little impact on your learning, like a silly typo in your code. Things like that happen often, so you have to keep good track of your time by sticking to a schedule. A schedule helps you build the discipline you need for learning not only one, but many things. If you set two hours to learning a new Python library, then no matter how good or bad your day is, you'll spend two hours and then move on. In this way, we make sure that if our learning gets slow in topic A, it doesn't affect our progress in topic B. Consistency is key to learning technical things like a programming language. Now we'll see the most important point to learn technical things. This is learning the minimum staff and solve projects. To learn technical things, you need to learn the minimum staff and put into practice what you've learned on projects. Say you're learning how to scrape websites with Selenium. Before moving to new topics, make sure you solve exercises and then start a project to challenge yourself. Feel free to repeat this process until you get familiar with this topic. This is way better than just memorizing stuff because you're applying what you've learned on meaningful tasks. Next, there's habits. This is an important yet underrated point. Habits can boost your learning or slow you down. Bad habits like not getting enough sleep can make you feel so weak that you won't be able to reach your peak performance when studying. In contrast, good habits like drinking enough water every day and organizing your desk can help you become more productive, optimize your workflow, and in this way boost your learning. Finally, you can make consistent progress on your learning following that 20 second rule. This is based on a technique called activation energy. This refers to the time, energy, or willpower to start doing something. The more activation energy an activity requires, the more willpower you need. This explains why it's easier for you to play games and eat junk food than to do an exercise. The 20 second rule consists in lowering this activation energy for those tasks we plan to do on a consistent basis, in our case, studying. To do so, we have to modify our environment to put studying on the path of least resistance. If you hide your video games and leave only things that you need for studying in your desk, you'll increase the activation energy for playing video games and decrease the activation energy for studying. You can take this technique to the next level by organizing your desktop and home screen. So instead of having social media apps in your phone's home screen or laptop's dock, add your text editor and online courses apps. Next time you use your phone or computer, you will want to write code rather than waste time on social media. That's it. If you want to learn Python for data science, check the free resources in the description and also download my free Python for data science cheat sheet. That's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.